I'm Nadi Hakim. I've been approached by the University of Bolton, and more specifically by the Vice Chancellor, Professor George Holmes, to produce five sculptures. Now, this task is not easy because four out of the five people I am sculpting are not living anymore. So therefore, I have to rely on either pictures or paintings. The idea was not just to reproduce the likeliness of the person, but to try to find out what the character of that person is and what they were remembered for. I am very honored to be part of that project so that you can remember those five gentlemen for many generations to come. When I was asked to do the sculpture, the bust of uh, Dr. Chadwick, all I was given is a couple of pictures. I knew he was a doctor like myself. He was a philanthropist, bringing back to life almost 150 years later. It is a superb feeling, I have to say, I'm very fortunate. Leonardo da Vinci once said, a sculpture is never completed. A sculpture is abandoned. I'm done. I'm not touching him. This is for me, Dr. Chadwick, and I'm stopping it. This is Peter Ormond. He was born in 1796. He was the son of a banker, uh, the banker who uh, started the uh, Bank of Bolton. The Bank of Bolton eventually became part of uh, NetWest Bank. Peter Ormond donated £45,000 at that time to the construction of the church. And £45,000 at that time uh, is equivalent to £5.5 .5 million pounds of today's money. He's got a, a serious look as a banker. I believe this is quite common. Not much of a smile here. And I think this is what I tried to depict in that particular sculpture. This is uh, Thomas uh, Markland been a factor, a philanthropist. He left school at age 14 and eventually became the head of a company, a steel company. He was a benefactor. He donated money uh, to build the, this church. And this is why he will end up being in this church for many years to come. And what's interesting is that this gentleman, Mr. Markland, used to own the house which is now owned by the Vice Chancellor, Professor Holmes. Having him in front of you, remember how that owner used to look like well before Professor Holmes. James Slade went to Cambridge, he studied mathematics before he entered the church and eventually he became the vicar of uh, the Bolton uh, church over 200 years ago now. And as you can see, unlike the current vicar, he did not smile much. 250 years ago, the vicar had certainly much more authority than what we have now. And this is what I really wanted to show, this authority firmness at the same time I'm sure deep inside uh, a lot of kindness and it's important to note that uh, the Reverend had made major contribution to the education of the people of Bolton. Out of the five sculptures I've done 
This is uh, the one of uh, Reverend Canon Chris Brace Girdle. He's the only one who is alive. The reason why I chose him uh, smiling is that the pictures I was sent, because I never met the Reverend, uh, he smiles in all the pictures. You can tell, looking at him, that he is a very joyful person and indeed a very nice person. And when you look at the smile of uh, Reverend Chris Brace Girdle and compare it to the inexistent smile of Reverend Slade, you see that maybe over the 200 years, uh, people started smiling a bit more. Now people say the reason why people didn't smile 200 years ago because their teeth were not in very good shape. Maybe this is the reason. I have to say the teeth of the Reverend are in excellent shape.